Muchas gracias, señora Sinelli, por este acercamiento que nos, que nos ha ofrecido a la problemática de la región. Y ahora, a continuación, para conocer el panorama global del estado de los acuíferos, tenemos con nosotros a Neno Kukuric, director del Centro Internacional para la Evaluación de los Recursos Hídricos Subterráneos, IGRAC UNESCO. El señor, el señor Kukuric fijará en su intervención un marco de discusión para las sesiones posteriores. Señor Kukuric, cuando quiera. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, and uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, uh, dear colleagues. Uh, it's uh, my pleasure to be here, pleasure because uh, you decided to talk uh, about groundwater, and uh, uh, I'm also uh, delighted uh, hearing uh, previous speakers, and uh, obviously, Uh, there is so much knowledge and awareness already uh, about uh, groundwater in the region. And today we are going to have uh, two panels uh, with uh, a lot of uh, uh, knowledgeable, esteemed colleagues. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite sure that we will have very fruitful discussion on groundwater uh, in, uh, in Latin America. What I would like uh, to do just in a uh, quarter of hour is to give you uh, a global, short global perspective uh, about groundwater, uh, state of groundwater resources, and uh, I will give a special emphasis on uh, internationally shared aquifers. Can I go to next slide, please? Okay, uh, I can do it. Great. So, uh, just to say that I'm, I'm coming uh, from IBEC, which is a uh, uh, UN affiliated uh, uh, international groundwater center, the only global uh, groundwater center. So, uh, Our colleagues already uh, said quite a lot about facts which we know about the importance of uh, groundwater. Groundwater not only supplying uh, us as a drinking water and supplying agriculture and industry, but also the importance of groundwater for ecosystems, for uh, uh, rivers, uh, to uh, preventing uh, seawater intrusion, uh, land subsidence, uh, and uh, uh, last speaker uh, also mentioned importance of groundwater for climate change adaptation. Uh, we also know that uh, groundwater is often uh, a solution for people without uh, access to safe uh, water, and that's, that is still one uh, of six people uh, around the world. Despite all these uh, facts which we uh, have, uh, groundwater is still out of sight and out of mind of most people. And that's not the wonder, because imagine that there is no rain, that, that never rains. Imagine that there are no rivers, that there are no lakes, Imagine that there are no seas and oceans. It's very difficult to imagine, impossible. But now imagine that there is no groundwater. And that's, uh, that's uh, our challenge of uh, having invisible and very important resource. So we all know that water scarcity is affecting a lot of people all over the world and it's increasing. Uh, we all know that surface water availability is decreasing because of our activities and climate change and that uh, our uh, reliance and, on groundwater and pressure on groundwater is growing. Still, we don't know sufficient about the groundwater resources and we do not manage uh, our aquifers well enough. I will not talk much about groundwater quality. Just look at this uh, 
uh, report, recent report of the World Bank uh, about water quality, invisible water crisis, and they said, unfortunately, uh, for one region of the world, we don't have groundwater data, and we couldn't say anything about groundwater. That's really a, a very serious situation. So how to tackle this? Well, we need this vital resource to be sustainable according to sustainable development goals of the United Nations, goal six, six on clean water and sanitation. To do that, we need to manage groundwater in appropriate, sustainable way. To have informed management, we need a good assessment and monitoring of groundwater resources because they are changing. And because groundwater is visible, we need to invest more in this outer circle. So in information knowledge sharing, awareness, synergies, partnerships, exactly what uh, we are doing today. Just to say very briefly about the importance of groundwater monitoring. It is a large initial investment but we can't do assessment or prediction without monitoring. And regarding assessment of groundwater sources uh, in general is that assessment is always uh, multidisciplinary. We need to take into account uh, environment, socioeconomic aspect, legal, institutional, etc. So to put groundwater in this broader context, only then we can explain the importance of uh, groundwater and take it uh, uh, on board. Now, on transboundary actors, most of the countries share uh, actors, and these changes, potential changes in groundwater quality and quantity, can lead to international problems, but also this can be a platform for cooperation and to eliminate problems and to uh, increase overall benefit from groundwater. There are a lot of programs and, and organizations dealing with uh, this issue, but please uh, remember ISA of uh, UNESCO and uh, International Association of Hydrogeologists, very active in, in Americas. So we started just 20 years ago with the first inventory of uh, transboundary groundwaters in Europe, and uh, then uh, in Asia, you see still just the circles and ovals, Central Asia and Caucasus. And you see, for instance, in Africa, that we started in 2002, with just the circles. And in 2012, we had delineated most of the actors in Africa. In 2015, Thanks to the contribution from colleagues from all over the world, we uh, produced the first map of transboundary actors of the world. Nowadays, we have uh, interdisciplinary methodology we can use. We can uh, we have a legal framework also used for the Guarani actor system, for instance. And we have also information system and all this information online available for everyone who deals with the with uh, uh, transboundary groundwaters. So uh, this was financed uh, mostly by Jeff, uh, Global Environment Facility, and Jeff financed also a number of individual projects, uh, also at Guarani, and it was a, a very successful project. And I heard that uh, now second phase uh, is uh, uh, coming. So I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, globally, uh, if you look large aquifers, most of the large aquifers are uh, under stress are transboundary. And that's, uh, that's very uh, important to remember. If we are talking about challenges of transboundary groundwater, I would like to stress that um, uh, it's very important to uh, do a, a right prioritization because we have a large aquifers, uh, you know, like what I mean. And where we should concentrate our, our effort, we, we can't really 
um, assess in detail the whole aquifer and, and manage it uh, everywhere. So we need to take all these uh, current and, and future uh, elements in account and uh, to, to make uh, uh, right the uh, decisions and characterize. I'm also, I'm almost uh, rounding off, coming back to, to management from assessment and uh, wanted to uh, emphasize that we need to go out of the box, uh, not only in terms of new technological solutions and uh, uh, to, to look at the other fields like agriculture and even serious gaming uh, uh, industry, but especially to uh, see how we are investing and how we can uh, provide uh, additional incentives to uh, investors to engage not only in production process, but in the whole uh, catchment area, because uh, their uh, contribution to the management of the whole catchment of the whole aquifer is the only way to uh, provide, to ensure sustainable use of uh, aquifers, not just production process. Conclusions. Well, some of the conclusions uh, I made uh, during the presentation, that one on groundwater monitoring and uh, importance of monitoring of, of a uh, broader societal and environmental context where we need to put uh, groundwater in on multidisciplinary approach and framework of international protocols. Use local uh, culture and uh, uh, customs and, uh, 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 and assist with uh, uh, international frameworks. Keep fostering international cooperation. Climate change and, and human impact of groundwater, groundwater resources do not stop at administrative borders, any kind of the borders. So as we are actually putting more pressure and climate change as well on groundwater resources, international cooperation and all sharing is the only way. So only by working together, we can substantially increase visibility and improve state of uh, these precious uh, results. At the end, uh, I would just like to uh, uh, say that next year we will have a chance to actually make groundwater more visible because the United Nations decided to dedicate next year to uh, groundwater. So we will have uh, World Water Day on groundwater. Uh, there, there is uh, United Nations World Water Development Report uh, under preparation on groundwater. We will have groundwater summit on groundwater uh, uh, summit on groundwater next year. So it will be plenty of opportunities and uh, right framework to make groundwater uh, more visible. I thank you for your attention.